everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to another episode of our Junk Food Made Real series. Um, for those of you that don't know who I am, I am Jessica Espinoza. I am a health coach and co-founder of 20dishes.com. And we are doing a new series over here um, called Junk Food Made Real uh, because we want to help you guys um, still be able to enjoy some of your favorite junk foods, but make them a lot healthier so that you can enjoy them without the guilt and without any of the nasty stuff that they put in a lot of junk food. So, um, today we are actually going to be talking about homemade chocolate syrup, um, because that is one thing that the kiddos especially really like and, um, the adult kids like that as well. So we have created a junk free um, chocolate syrup recipe for you and I'm going to be talking a little bit about why you should ditch the commercial chocolate syrups and just make your own at home. Um, before we dive in though, I would love for you guys to leave me a comment down below um, and let me know what your favorite junk food is. So we are planning on um, doing this whole series, this junk food made real series um, for forever if we have enough interest and we can have enough junk foods that we can replicate into a healthy form. So I would love to hear from you down in the comments below what um, kind of junk food you would like to see us feature in here. And if we can recreate the recipe, if at all possible, we will share it on our blog and we'll do a live video as well on it. So I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, we've already gotten a ton of requests so far. So I've got a long calendar of content I'm creating. Lots of fun stuff on the horizon, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And also, for you guys that are not familiar with 20 Dishes, if this is your first time tuning in, I want to say welcome. Thank you for joining us. And for those of you that have tuned in before, welcome again. Thank you for joining us. And um, 20 Dishes is uh, essentially meal planning made easy. We have a special sauce that allows you to take your meal plan from paper to plate in record time. So. You know, meal plans really are a dime a dozen. You can find meal plans everywhere online. But the one thing that we ran into when we were using those types of meal plans is that it was really difficult and sometimes very time consuming to take the actual meal plan from the paper to the table in a quick enough time for our super busy schedules. I mean, everybody is so busy now that, you know, we can't be spending an hour or more cooking dinner every night. That's just not feasible. So. We created 20 dishes. Um, we have a secret sauce that we use um, to help you take that meal plan with your healthy food and get it on the table super, super fast every night. So um, if you wanna learn more about us, there's a link in the video description, wherever that's displaying on here, where you can get a free um, five day meal plan and um, you can test this out. You can get our secret sauce. You can get um, five different dietary styles. You can download one or you can download all of them and um, you can test this out and see how you like it. So definitely check that out. So we have Christina loves donuts. We're actually working on a donut recipe. Not sure when we'll have that ready, but it is in the works because there's a lot of people who love donuts. So we are going to give you um, a healthier way to eat those donuts. So let's go ahead and dive into our homemade chocolate syrup. So in the video description, I have linked to the actual blog post over on the blog, and so you can see that here on my tablet. And so this is what I'm actually gonna be referring to um, as I go through here. So what I did, and what I'm doing for all of these Junk Food Made Real series is I am giving you um, the healthy recipe, but I'm also doing kind of an ingredient breakdown of some of the most popular commercial brands so that you know what ingredients you really should be trying to avoid, um, and which ones can be the most harmful. So it's not just the one specific item. Um, it might be something that you're assessing at the grocery store sometime and you'll be like, oh, I remember Jessica talking about that in that video. I don't wanna eat this ingredient. So it could be something completely non-related, but um, we really, really, really want to strive over at 20 Dishes to be an education first company and help you guys, you know, not only help you eat better, but help you understand why we wanna eat better and kind of break through all of the confusion um, that's out there. There's a ton of misinformation sometimes about food and nutrition depending on who you're listening to And so we want to just make real food really simple for you guys I'm not confusing and not complex So if you're over on the blog, you'll see that I've listed the ingredients for a couple of commercial brands the most popular ones So for chocolate syrups Nesquik and Hershey's chocolate syrup tends to be the most popular ones There are a ton of other brands out there uh, But those are the two I choose because or chose for this Because they're the most popular 
Um, so in Nesquik, um, I've listed all the ingredients and I kind of um, identified the ones that, you know, are the most concerning. So in the Nesquik, we have sugar, water, cocoa, salt, citric acid, artificial flavors, potassium sorbate, which, which is a preservative, um, xanathan gum, caramel color, red 40, blue 1, and yellow 6. So a lot of those ingredients you don't really need. So for chocolate syrup, really all you need is some water, some cocoa powder, and some sweetener of some sort. You don't need to have preservatives. You don't need to have artificial flavors. You don't even need to have natural flavors, which is another term that I try to avoid whenever possible because natural flavors are sometimes derived from some not so savory places. So um, that's one to be concerned about as well. And then artificial colors, like why do we need red 40, blue one, and yellow six in our chocolate syrup? So um, that's a little breakdown of the Nesquik. Um, the Hershey's chocolate syrup ingredients um, include high fructose corn syrup, corn syrup, water, cocoa, sugar, um, as well as potassium sorbate, which is that preservative, um, salt, mono, and diglycerides, xanathan gum, polysorbate 60, vanillin and artificial flavor. So they're not using any artificial colors, but they are still using artificial flavors. Um, and the high fructose corn syrup is also an ingredient to avoid, not just because it, you know, is high fructose corn syrup and it's really bad for you metabolically, but um, it also is quite often derived from genetically modified corn. So that can cause a whole other host of problems. So the big ones to avoid when it comes to GMOs are things like soybeans, corn, um, canola, those kind of things. I'll do a whole separate blog post about that because um, I've had a lot of questions about that as well. So those are kind of some overviews. Um, a lot of the other brands are going to use similar ingredients. There's going to be a little bit different um, between the brands. But for your homemade chocolate syrup, so here is the picture of the homemade chocolate milk made with the homemade chocolate syrup, which is absolutely delicious. You actually only need five ingredients. So all you need is filtered water um, and some kind of sweetener. So we suggest either coconut sugar, maple syrup, honey, or you could use any other sweetener that you want. You could even use um, organic cane sugar if you wanna use that. That's still gonna be better than corn syrup or some of the other highly processed sugars. Um, and we want you to steer clear of any of artificial sweeteners as well. Um, you'll need cocoa powder or cacao powder, either one, or you can sub some chopped up chocolate. So if you have chocolate chips or a chocolate bar that you really like, you can chop that up and melt that down with that as well. Um, and then you're gonna need some vanilla extract and some sea salt, that's it. And so the recipe is over on the blog in the video description, you'll see that link. You can go check that out and make your own chocolate syrup. It's super easy to make, and then you can just store it in the fridge, and um, a lot of times it's gonna separate a little bit when it's in the fridge, so I like to store it in a mason jar with a really tight lid, and then you just shake it um, before you wanna use it, and then you just mix it in with your milk. You can use it to make hot chocolate, you can use it to make regular chocolate milk, you can drizzle it on ice cream, or however you would use chocolate syrup. So super, super easy. Um, I wrote a whole bunch of other stuff over on the blog post as well that I won't cover in here. So if you want to read that and grab the recipe, just hop over there. And that is really it. We we're trying to keep these videos super short because we know you guys are really busy. Um, but again, let me know what kind of junk food you would like me to cover in this um, series. I'm really excited about it. And um, I love being able to help people eat healthier and give them alternatives to some of their favorite foods because sometimes when you go... Um, and switch to a real food diet, you might feel kind of deprived, or you might feel kind of sad, um, because you're giving up some of those favorite foods, and food plays such a huge role in our lives, and we, ha we tie a lot of emotions to our food and stuff like that, so I totally get it. So I would love to help you, so help me help you. Um, let me know what you want me to feature, and I will do my absolute best to feature it in one of our upcoming videos. So. Thank you guys, absolutely. Um, let me answer a couple questions. So donuts, we're gonna be working on the donuts. Uh, thank you, Vicki, I really appreciate you tuning in all the time and your support, we really, really, really appreciate it. Um, Cynthia, yes, you can heat it up for hot cocoa, absolutely. So you would just use the syrup in the place of whatever you normally would use for your hot cocoa, heat it up in whatever milk you're using, um, and then you have delicious hot cocoa. Um, so I have the proportions in the recipe for kind of like how I liked it. 
but you can add more syrup or less syrup depending on your taste. So you can add more sweetener or less sweetener depending on your taste as well. So feel free to play around with the recipe. It's very forgiving. Um, recipes in my mind are just kind of like guidelines. So if you feel comfortable experimenting, go ahead and experiment and make it your own. You could even add different flavors in there. If you wanted to have like a hazelnut chocolate syrup, you could put hazelnut instead of the vanilla or in addition to the vanilla, or you could have peppermints or whatever kind of floats your boat for that. So um, if you have any other questions, leave them down below and I will hop back on this evening and answer them for you. And don't forget to go grab your uh, free five day meal plan as well. So we are looking forward to seeing you in the next episode. I think Kelly is actually going to be doing um, the real food or the junk food made real series next week. And she's going to be doing homemade mozzarella sticks just in time for the Super Bowl. Um, so make sure you tune into that one and the recipe will be up over on the blog as well. So you guys have a great night. Thank you everybody for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. I will talk to you guys again soon. See you later.